What's in a number? In the most recent University of Texas, Texas Tribune poll, plenty of telling signs of what voters in the Lone Star State are thinking. Just begin to get a, a lot more, a lot fuller picture of, of kind of the political atmosphere and mood of the state. Starting with the top state official, many respondents said Governor Perry is doing a good job, but nearly half of those asked would not necessarily vote for him again. The same goes for their state reps. 43% are ready to swap them out for someone new. But a majority said state government is less corrupt than Congress. Just 1% strongly approve of the job lawmakers in Washington are doing. In a relative sense, the, uh, the Texas government and the, the Austin ratings look pretty darn good because there's just colossally bad ratings for the federal government. In Texas, President Obama takes the brunt of the blame, which means the results at the top of the ticket here are still predictable. 55% of those asked said they plan to vote Romney for president, 54% for Cruz for Senate. But the political landscape is changing, at least when it comes to one key social issue. The biggest surprise is that we can't be surprised anymore by the gay marriage numbers. That even though Republicans are more skeptical of recognizing, you know, the legal sanctity of relationships between gay and lesbian people, the overall numbers are still moving in a more tolerant direction. Two-thirds said they would support some form of legal partnership for same-sex couples. There's some evidence that positions tend to moderate a little bit over time, or maybe we just move to other battles. As for the economy, many thought it slightly improved overall, and yet 42% said the worst is yet to come. Immigration and border security lead state issues not education, which also came as a surprise considering the multi-billion dollar cut schools took in the last legislative session. The districts have done a reasonable job of insulating classrooms from these cuts up to this point, and that may be part of it. It may just be the parents are not feeling it. Poll numbers are not always predictive, but they give a broad social context for how we think of ourselves and offer lawmakers insight into how to navigate their positions within their electorate. Reporting in Austin, this is Alana Rocha for the Texas Tribune.